Morning everybody, welcome back to another video. I got something pretty cool to show you guys here. Yesterday we took delivery of this brand new bail wagon. It's a 2021 Highline uh, bail wagon. That's the number on the side of it. It's a 14 bail wagon, seven on each side. Uh, it's the exact same one as the last one that we had. This one's just brand new. Uh, we owned the last one 50-50 with a neighbor out here. And since we've been milking more and more cows constantly over the last couple of years here, and eventually now we're milking three times as many cows as we used to be like four years ago, uh, we kind of just decided, you know, maybe it's better we both each get one of our own bale wagons since we're hauling so many bales now. So uh, that's what we ended up doing. That's why we got the new one here. And we just decided to get the exact same one as the last one. Uh, it's a solid wagon. It's got the twin loading arms, so one on each side. You can fully adjust these arms in case you're picking up bigger or smaller bales. Uh, we got a little safety here. Just in case you're going down the highway and you're not carrying any bales, you just want to make sure these arms aren't going down accidentally. It's also got a pretty cool feature. It'll let you know when the wagon's full. So it's got this tab all the way at the back here. And there's a wire that goes to the front and it kind of just flips up a flapper and you can see that when you're done loading at the front of the wagon. And these hazard lights on the side, you can fold them back because when you're unloading these bales, you're driving right beside another row, you might snap that off. So I just folded them right away to the inside. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty solid unit. We're gonna go use it this morning. Just did the math on how far this field is away from the farm. It's about four and a half miles, so nine mile round trip. Uh, this is not our own field. This is one of our neighbors, thankfully. Uh, we've been asking around for guys to drop straw as they are combining. This guy dropped it. We built it like a week or two ago, and now we're heading out to pick it up because we got this bail wagon yesterday. So why are you using miles yet? You live in Canada. You should be using kilometers. I know, I know. Uh, but all the blocks of land, how it's all set up out here, is it's all based on miles, unfortunately. Um, well, it works good. But every block of land, so right there, you can't really see, the windows are kind of dirty, but that's a section. So a section of land is 640 acres, and it's a mile by a mile. So it's a square of land, and everything is based on miles out here. Uh, if you go one mile over, there's another gravel road, another mile over, another gravel road, and that's how it's all kind of gridded up out here. So you can really easily calculate how far away something is in miles, and then if you want, you can convert it over to kilometers, but what's the point? Anyway, we're gonna pull up on this field pretty quickly here. Awesome, that's our first load. Kind of hiding behind the wind here, but uh, I always like to get out of the tractor the first couple loads, make sure that my bales aren't sticking out the back end that I'm gonna lose them on the road. But they're on there good, so we're gonna take this back to the yard and unload these 14 bales. really good the first load uh, flawlessly me and Dima this afternoon are gonna be taking the discs off of this Gia liquid manure tank uh, we just find them pretty annoying 
We're not gonna ever use those again. The last time we used them, they kind of wrecked our field. We had to harrow it a whole bunch and ended up blowing like crazy in the wind. So we're just never gonna use these anymore. And every time we do use uh, the tank and just spray it over the ground, not even the discs, they get covered in manure and it's really annoying to clean after pressure washing them, keeping them clean and we're not even using them. And another kind of hazard with having these discs on this tank, you got to really watch them when you're using this thing going down the road that they're not dragging on the asphalt on the highway or the gravel road. You could wreck the road and wreck these discs. So we're just going to take them off, get them out of here. Uh, they're just nothing but a hazard and a liability for us. So we got the loader. We're not totally sure how this is going to go. We know we got to take some hydraulic hoses loose. There's a massive bolt right here. Get that guy loose. Take the cylinders loose. A couple other things should be fun. Let's get at it. Probably we can take it off with impact. man well you guys just missed it but it just slid right out the back holy man that was sketchy oh well, it's off we'll just park it nice and far over in the trees there in case we ever want to grab it again i really hope not well that looks a million times better i think this got bent up a little bit when it came out the back but it shouldn't matter at all all right, we got the spout back on there. Should be good to go. It's looking pretty good. All right, so we don't have too much uh, video footage of farming for today's video, so I figured a good thing maybe to film was uh, riding Nalene's new horse here. Well, she's not new, but she's newly trained, I guess. What do you want me to do with it? Hold that, please. Okay. When did you start training this horse? Riding probably a month ago. A month ago? And this is the first horse you've ever trained. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's, let's try riding this thing. Why not? I've only rode a horse like three or four times in my entire life. You rode this thing lots already, right? Kind Seven of. Times. Seven times. <laughs> All right. It's okay if you have to reach. <laughs> Are they comfortable for you? Okay, make can you, sure. Can you pull that one up a little more? Like this? No, like back. No, you can't put them too far because if you fall, your foot will get hooked and get dragged. Oh, that's, that makes sense. That looks okay. I guess we're going. But she has to go when you say go, okay? Not when she wants to. Don't let your other hand cross her neck. So keep both hands on either side of the neck. Don't let the other one cross to the other side. Yeah, that's good. Come on. Yeah, it's good. And if you feel her slowing down like that, then keep her going. There you go. Sure I can't go a little bit faster? Just a little bit? Like okay, you can try a trot, but okay. don't try loping her, okay? Okay, I'm pretty sure I know how to stop this. Okay, well, kiss to her if you want her to trot. Again, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
<laughs> Say whoa again. You want her to stop? You, she got to stop. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> I was bouncing, man. <laughs> That's what a try is. That's a good girl. That now wasn't you... so bad, hey? No. Oh, now give her a hug and say, tell her she's a good girl. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have fun. I will. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was eh, not too bad. Still rather drive a quad though, but yeah, this is cool once in a while too, I guess. <laughs> Also, if you like this, uh, Nalene has a YouTube channel where she shows some of the horror stuff on there too. So you can check that out in the link in the description. Just to end today's video, we're gonna show you guys a little more progress on the build. They poured this massive apron back here. I believe it's at least 25 feet, might be 30 foot or close to it anyway. So we'll be able to pull out of here, drive there and into that other barn with the feed wagon tractor. Uh, this got poured so the slot comes underneath here comes out on the other side Pretty nicely done And yeah, that's what they've been doing They also just recycled the posts that were by those doors. They re poured them here reused them It's a lot easier. They're already filled with concrete they might need to be repainted though with some new stickers because they're kind of scuffed up just to make them look nice again. But yeah, it's coming along out here. This pour is just awesome. It's sloped slightly, you can see that, so that the rainwater all flows off of it. It's looking good back here. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.